Over the past five weeks, 20 stars have been seen cooking up a storm in the battle to be crowned Celebrity Master Chef 2010. This year, the celebrities cooked for dancers at the Moulin Rouge, mm -hmm. catered for travelers on the Orient Express, and of course, faced the judges' discerning palate for the all important grand final. But they can only ever be one, one winner. winner. Oh, yes, and on Friday night, Lisa Faulkner pipped Christine Hamilton and Dick Strawbridge to the post. Remember, she was on the sofa last week pretending that she didn't know that she won. <laughs> She's back now, and she can tell all. Morning, Lisa. Nice Hello. to see you. First, we're going to take a look at you in the final. Okay. Here it is. The three dishes that are going to win you the title are... Um, I'm doing a goat's cheese tart with thyme pastry and red onion marmalade, and monkfish with butternut squash fondant and a sauce vierge. It's a little sauce with tomatoes, olive oil, basil and tarragon, a tiny bit of garlic and lemon juice. And then I'm doing a panna cotta with poached tamarillos and some mixed berries. Everything that you'll get today is what I would love to have. That's a good place to start. Our celebrity MasterChef champion is... Lisa. Oh my god! Oh my yes. Believe now, believe now. Lisa's here now with a the trophy. Concerned. It's a bit wobbly, Lisa. Yeah. <laughs> it's, isn't it? it's wobbling a bit. It's wobbling. Yeah. We're just trying to fix it while well, they're yes. there. Yes. <laughs> Thank Marvelous. you very much. It's what it means rather than what it is, isn't it? Yes, really? it's taking pride of place in my kitchen though now. Well, so it should. Yeah. Well, when we saw you last week, you looked nervous and you had no reason to be, really. No, do you know what? It's so nerve-wracking watching the shows, though, because you don't know how you're going to come across or how they're going to edit it or all of this stuff and, and what they're talk saying about you behind your back. So I think that's why I was more nervous. They always said very nice things. Yeah. And, uh, yes, a part, and, and, and even your partner said very nice things. Part of like, Did she cry, he's saying, because she, she cries all, all the time. The time. Yeah, I know, I know. Thank you for that. Were there bits, though, that, that, oh. have, that mistakes that you made that you thought, thought, oh, gosh, I do hope they cut that out, and they did? Were there some unseen things? That there weren't really. I, I think the, the thing with MasterChef is that they like to see the things that go wrong, and there's always a camera there. So pretty much everything that went wrong for me went wrong on camera. Mm -hmm. um, the pair four ways in the in the chateau sort of went a little bit wrong with timings for macaroons, oh, but that yes. wasn't my fault. No, of course it was. It was. The timings. Somebody else had to provide yes. the macaroons. <laughs> yes. Yes, but what might have been your fault was a poached egg. I knew you were going to mention Should this. Have a look? Close your eyes. Lisa had the highest score in the palate test, but will a Hollandaise disaster now be her downfall? We asked you to cook for us a perfect poached egg with a Hollandaise sauce. Exhibit A, my friends. Can I just say I've had a really lovely time? Good. You got a poached egg which has burst open and the yolk has disappeared and it's somewhere else yonder. The butter and the egg yolk has split, so what you've ended up with is just butter on the actual plate with little chunks of shallot and curdled egg. Although it looks pretty nasty, it's not horrific. Um, a tough test, Lisa. It was a tough test. I think doing poached egg and hollandaise sauce is quite difficult. Yeah, I've come a long way, haven't I? <laughs> no, I, I, the thing was, in my defence, yeah. I saw the cameras on me and they gave me the recipe and I did some acting reading. I did reading acting and went, mm, like this and didn't actually <laughs> concentrate yeah. on, what it, on what was said. And I actually made hollandaise every week for my husband for months until we got sick of it and I couldn't do it on that day oh, so did you, did you think you were done for at that point I did of course yes of course I thought I was going home I think I said in in yes. the VT yes, I've had a lovely time. time thanks very <laughs> much <laughs> thank you see ya what was the best bit or what was the most no what was the most challenging bit oh you know what from the final it all became such a challenge you know the cooking on the Orient Express having no idea mm. that we were going to go from one plate cook in one kitchen I knew that we didn't know where we were going to end up and so all I could think was thank goodness I've done a puree 
that things can be stuck into, the food can be stuck into, because of course on the train everything's moving. And I don't know if the driver was doing a few sneaky woos like this, <laughs> <laughs> just to just to muck us up. I mean, it was the longest final of any competition I've ever seen, <laughs> apart Did from the World long? Chess Championships, which probably go on for several months. But yes. it, no, I mean, and, and delightful to watch. But you thought, well, they'll, they'll have a winner at the end of this episode, but <laughs> yeah. no, no, there it, were about three off. There were three all together, weren't they? Three all together. They really put us through our paces, but it was. Uh, just the best experience ever. Really, really a fantastic experience. You almost experience. let slip when you were on the sofa, um, the other because you said, I couldn't have done it without Christine's help. Because <laughs> Christine Hamilton, and oh. I, I mean, you all worked quite well together, didn't you? Yes. You had to in some instances. Yeah, yeah. I mean, actually, I uh, tweeted her saying, I wish you were on the sofa with me today because she has become such a good friend. And Dick, mm. we've become a real close team. And without her help on that day, hour, you know, when we were outside Half in Nantwich, film, you know, feeding the 5,000, you know, I wouldn't have got my custard out on time. And what you all produced at the end was, was <laughs> phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. I, I just was awestruck. You must have been a pretty good cook to start with. Do you know what? I, I had learnt the basics from my mum. My mum was a fantastic cook and I used to watch her in the kitchen a lot. And I did have basics. And from the age of 16, I cooked for my family. Oh. So, of course, I had the basics. But I just don't think I had a, probably a huge repertoire that everyone else had. And they knew a lot more about food, which I'm now learning. And just, you know, like a sponge. I just want more, want to learn more and more about it. You know, at the beginning, they say whatever they do, it'll change their lives. And you talking about the custard. I would never have got my custard oh. out in time. You just sort of <laughs> think back to that phrase. I, mean, it's, I know. It has become a fairly intense experience for you. Can really, I tell it? you, it has changed my life. Sadly, it's like, you know, I can hear John and Greg's words ringing in my ears because it has completely turned me around. And In what way, though? I just love cooking. I've fallen back in love with cooking, which was something I did as a child and as a teenager and then sort of stopped for a while. And now it's like... The lights have all got, gone on, and yeah. all I want to do is cook. I love it. Mm. Does it? <laughs> can anybody do this? I mean, not, no, not everybody can reach the Olympian heights, of course. But I was thinking, I could, I could never begin to cook something like that. I could never begin to cook something like that. Well, or do you think, given enough time and application, yeah, I think, can? I think people can. I think that's the great thing about it. I think if you have a bit of confidence and you just enjoy it and keep trying, you can succeed. And, and well, how much nothing... practice do you guys do behind the scenes, though, building up oh. to the final? <laughs> All I did was cram in recipe books. My husband and my daughter moved out. They went to stay in Manchester with my parents-in-law because he said to me, just go and cook. Because yeah. all day and all night, I'd come in from work, from MasterChef, and I'd just cook and cook and cook and try sauces. But, you know, when a red sauce didn't work, I would try it again and again and, and again until it worked out. And how many recipes are your recipes? And how many recipes are written down that well, you have to follow? The, the, uh, when you have to choose your recipes, I sort of found myself going to recipe books, choosing things that I liked, and then adapting them. Mm. Because you can't, of course, just you take out a recipe off a book. So the fun bit was adapting it and, you know, playing with a different sauce or, you know, just changing it in a different way. Well, now you've done all this. Have you got any time left for acting? Are you doing anything? I am, actually. Um, we've just done a, a thing, a moving on, a Jimmy McGovern moving on, which comes out in the autumn. Mm. On and the telly, is that Yes. Um, that's BBC, and I've just been in Canada filming a show called The Murdoch Mysteries, which I just got back from two weeks did ago, which cook, was did lovely. Did you cook for the crew when you were there? I didn't. I didn't, but I'm going to be cooking on MasterChef Live. Oh, in, yeah. oh, I think that? it's November at Olympia. It's a great big MasterChef event, and you can do the invention test. You know, people can come along and do it all, so come down. Mm. Okay. When did, did, were they going to, when you were given this, was it twirling around? Like, was it like, wasn't, slew, so you, has someone been misbehaving with this? I expect it's my daughter. It's her birthday today. Happy well, birthday, Billy. Got a I think she's something. probably done something yeah. to it. Okay, not to worry. It still looks, we won't <laughs> tell anybody that you've broken the MasterChef <laughs> trophy. No. So congratulations. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you.